in our previous classes we already covered what is botany and uh, a number of uh, uh, schools of botany and the system of zoology also so in this particular session we are going to study about the branches of botany if we talk about branches of botany there is a number of uh, main branches and general branches and uh, some of the special branches also so today we are just going to discuss about some of our main and general branches and later on we are going to study about some special branches also so if we talk about general branches so first uh, term comes in mind that the external structure that means the morphology so first is our plant morphology if we split the term morphology two words came from that one is a morphos another one is a logos the both are greek words if we split morphology one is your morphos another one is your logos and morphos means your form and logos means your story in every part logos means your story and here morphos means your form so here morphology means to study the external structure of a plant that means here we are going to study about the external structure of the plant to study the external structure of plant is always known as your plant morphology nextly if we talk about anatomy same way as it is ana means your eyes are open and tana means to cut out here every part is split out cut out and the internal structure that means here we are going to study about the internal in, internal structure by by means of some microscopes and other means so here the study of to study the internal structure of plant it is the basic difference plant morphology means study of external structure plant anatomy means study of internal structure here ana means and tana means to cut out next we your plant histology histology means we have to study some of our tissue and tissue system that means to study the tissue and tissue system which forms our organ and body parts is always known as your plant histology and histos means your tissue so i again repeat plant morphology means study of external external structure plant anatomy means study of internal structure plant histology means tissue and tissue system which is the basic unit of a body that means cell is also a basic unit of the body but it builds up a body and a organ so it is already known as your tissue and tissue system and the branch is your plant histology next thing cytology or cell biology cyto means your cell and logos means your study so study of cell is always a known as your cytology so here study of cell is known as cytology so here we are going to study about cell the this basic unit of life next is plant physiology physiology means nature of life physis means your nature of life and logos means our study so here we are going to study about every type of many methods which takes place in a plant that means if we talk about every type of physical work that means every type of work which are takes place over here in a plant you may take it as an example of growth or you may take an example of transpiration you may take an example of photosynthesis 
you may take as the example of your development all these things are included in your physiology so every life process nature of life that means plants life process are included in your plant physiology everything is a faster chapter that means your growth transpiration photosynthesis respiration you may take it as an example of your nitrogen cycle phosphorus cycle all these things are taking place in your plant physiology that means these are included in this topic and these are the uh, processes which included in your plant physiology Nextly, genetics. Genetics means to grow. That means it is the basic unit of gene. And from genetics, we just evolve two type of things. That means it is the study of heredity and variation. Then two things comes in mind that what is heredity and what is variation first. So it is just the study of heredity. And variation. If we talk about heredity and variation, heredity means transfer of characters from parents to offspring. That means if the characters are transferred from parents to offspring, then it is known as your heredity. That means if we take an example of myself or yourself also, that means from your parents, that means from our parents, we are evolved. That means there is a change that takes place. Some heritable characters are transferred from uh, from father and mother to us, that means these are the characters from who is that means these are the hereditary characters which are transformed from us. Nextly, heredity that means transmission of characters from parents to their offspring. That means if we take an example of our, our parents, then the characters of our parents are transformed to us. So it is the best example of our heredity. If we uh, say that, what is your variation? Variation means the changes, the behavioral changes which are takes place. In an organism, that means from parents to the offspring, the changes are expressed, but the variations are expressed. That means there is a changes of the characteristics changes are expressed. Then it is known as a variation. All changes in morphological, physiological, and behavioral character during heredity is called. That means during heredity, the all the changes which are expressed, you may take it as physiological changes, you may take it as behavioral changes. All these changes which are expressed, then it is called as a variation, the variety which is called. If you take an example of your cauliflower and nowadays broccoli is there. That means in plant, the as we have studied about botany, then it is a best example. That means from cauliflower to broccoli. That means there is a change. It is just the variety of a cauliflower. One is your cauliflower, and one is your broccoli, and hybrid variety are also developed nowadays. So these are some of the varieties. That means these are some of the variations of the genetics, which is included to our heredity and variation. Nextly, ecology. Ecology means it included directly to our environment. That means the home. That means this environment, this earth, this atmosphere, all these things are our home. So these are included by the interaction of all these things. If we talk about population, if we talk about characteristic changes of an organism, all these things are included in the ecosystem. So our first is equal ecology. Ecology is developed from a Greek word oikos. Oikos means home. That means the nature is our home. So it deals with the study of the population. Population is the plant population. You may take an example of your aquatic animals and the, their population. If you take an example of cow and cow's population, if you take a tiger, tiger's population. That means a group of organisms. Population means simply a group of organisms. So ecosystem and relationship between living organism and their environment. We are the living organism and this is our environment. So the interrelationship between all these things is already known as our ecosystem. Nextly, plant taxonomy. Taxonomy is given same as taxes and law. Norms means our law. So taxes means the arrangement of things. That means taxes means our arrangement, norms means our law. That means the arrangement is takes place including some of the laws. If we take total botany, then uh, normally in a transpiration we are going to study about all these things briefly. We just take an example first. So if we take all the plants as an example, then basically plants are divided into three types. One is our tree, that means the bleed plants are included in it. Nextly, the hot plant, that means uh, the bushes are all are included in it. That means the flowering plants are also included in it. And nextly, the soft, that means the grass and all these things are included in this plant. 
That means in basically we divided uh, total plants into three types. And in such a way, that means it also indicates that it deals with the identification. That means we identify thus that the, the big plants are included in our tree and the middle sized plants are, that means the bushes are included in a single category and uh, the small plants are included in soil. That means we divide it into plant, hot, soil. In that manner, it is the identification manner. That means it uh, takes some of the laws. That means if you take uh, an example of tree, then tree consists of a number of identification characters. That means it must be a big plant, it must be consists of a number of branches, it must be a, a good root system. All these things is included in our tree. If we take an example of uh, tree and a heart, then it is also uh, consists that uh, it is a middle sized plant. That means the plant is much, it is not much, much bigger, it is most a flowering plant. It must be consist of a bush like structure. That means it is a bush like structure. That means number of branches, a number of leaves, structure, the number of flowers are also there. Then it is concluded over your uh, heart. Next is the soil. Soil means the tiny grass grass plants, which are included in your soil. So in that way, it consists of a number of classification. That means a number of variation over here. Tree, heart, soil. These are the classification. Next is non nomenclature means the naming system. That means if we uh, talk, talk about uh, a um, talk about a plant or an animal, there is uh, some of the botanical names and names are there. That means if we take uh, an example of uh, rose, then its botanical name is Rosa indica. If we uh, take an example of tiger, then its botanical name is Panthera tigris. So uh, the naming of your Panthera tigris in naming of your Rosa indica, they are also included a number of characteristics, a number of Laws also. So these are included in our plant taxonomy. In a couple of phases, we will briefly discuss about what is plant taxonomy with example. Next is evolution. Evolution means to outgrow. Before going through all these things, I want to introduce that it is just dealing with the origin of life. So here we are just studying about how the life is originated on earth. So if we talk about ourselves, we all know that we are we are just a part of evolution. That means if you talk about our grandparents or grandparents' parents, they are also a generation of monkey. That means from there the generation is changes over here. That means we all are evolved. That means if we talk in a single line, evolution means the small, gradual and irreversible changes which are takes place over here. So the changes which are takes place and the changes are irreversible. That means once the changes take place, they, they are not come back to its original state. Then it is known as an evolution. So it is the D of your origin of life. That means it is the evolution characters are changes, small, gradual, irreversible changes are takes place. Nicely, paleontology. Paleontology means study of fossils. It is just a thing. Study of fossils. You may take it as your plant fossil or animal fossil. Plant fossil, animal fossil means if we uh, preserve something, if we some uh, a tree trunk is preserved or a uh, animal bone is preserved, all these things are preserved in soil, preserved in water medium a long time uh, ago. That means these parts are preserved, and the study of all these bones or the study of uh, a plant or study of an animal during this condition, that means in fossil condition, we know that we know as your paleontology, the plants which include with the fossil, study of fossil, we know that we know as your paleontology. Fossil means the parts which are preserved in a state, is already known as your paleontology or fossil. Next is plant pathology. Pathology means disease. That means the branch which deals with the study of all the diseases of a plant. That means it's just a study of diseases of a plant. In depth here, we are just going to study about all type of diseases and characters which are occurred in a plant or in which is occurred in a leaf or which is occurred in a root surface or trunk, tree trunk and all these things. That means uh, you may uh, potato leaf disease or a black dot disease, disease in tomato and all these things are included in your plant pathology. That means a number of diseases are included in your, in your plant food. Pathology. So the plants which deals with all type of disease included in plant is always the knowledge of plant pathology. So it is some of the basic feature of your uh, branches of uh, the 
that, that means some of the general branches of your botany, which include your plant morphology, that means the external character, plant anatomy, internal character, plant histology, tissue and tissue system. Another one is a psychology or cell biology, which deals with the story of cell. Another one is a plant physiology. Physiology means the normal physical character of a plant, that means your growth, development, your uh, photosynthesis, respiration, all these things. Next is genetics. Genetics is included two types of things. One is your heredity, another one is your variation. If we talk about heredity, heredity means transmission of character from one generation to another generation. That means from our parents we are evolved. That means there is a changes to express. And the changes which are expressed over a period, that means over a generation, then it is known as your variation. That means the variety is always known as your variation. Another one is your ecology. Ecology means oikos. That means developed from oikos, oikos means your home and the total nature of, of that means the surrounding, uh, the total surrounding where we are uh, living and the ecosystem and the total population and its relationship between the population and ecosystem, all these things are included in your ecology. Nextly, plant taxonomy. Taxonomy means your taxis, taxis means your arrangement and norms means your law. That means there is a arrangemental arrangement of a plant and its names are to express or the nomenclature are to express during some of the laws. That means you may take it as a law, as your classification, you may take it as identification character, all these things. That means you may take an example of a rose as a rose indica or a tiger as a uh, uh, panthera tigris or a lion as a panthera leo or uh, was human being also included in this category. That means your human beings which is your homo sapiens. So in just a manner that means why um, the human being is known as your homo sapiens, why the tiger is named as panthera tigris, what is your panthera, what is your tigris in top of stages later we are going to briefly discuss about all these things. Next is evolution. Evolution means to enroll. Enroll means the uh, enroll means the developmental character which takes place small, gradual, and irreversible changes which are takes place in a life and the evolution of life that takes place over here, which is our as known as evolution, the branch which deals with the origin of life. Next is paleontology. Paleontology means simply the study of fossil. You may uh, study a uh, fossil of a tree trunk, you may study a fossil of an animal, all as said. Next is plant pathology. Pathology means all the diseases. Which are occur in your plant. You may take it as potato leaf root disease, you may take it as tomato root disease, or you may take any disease uh, caused in plant, you like uh, any uh, branches of the plant, a trunk of the plant, leaf of the plant, flower of the plant, all these things are included in your plant passage. So, this is all about some of the general branches of your uh, botany. Uh, I hope this session is helpful to you. Till the second, thank you.